Telecommunication operators and tower infrastructure companies contributed 2.2 billion CDs in taxes to government in 2018, representing more than 6% of government's tax revenue for 2018. The CEO of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Ken Ashibe, who made this known at a media briefing in Accra, said this shows the industry is growing with a significant contribution to gross domestic product. George Quinning has more. According to the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, value-added tax VAT stood as one of the top tax lines of the industry, representing 19% of the total tax contribution in excess of over 412 million cities. With a continuous change in consumer behavior, the Chamber expects government to be supportive to ensure that the digital inclusion and Connect Ghana is fully achieved. We need to be able to explore how we will use these digital services, financial services, to increase and grow the, uh, the, the, the tax net so that a lot more people would come into it rather than saying that you will tax it. Because once you tax it, you make it more expensive. This 7 million or so people in Ghana that are currently not included, you will not be able to bring them in. Other product taxes, regulatory fees and universal service fund, which mainly consist of 1% annual net revenue, required to be paid to the National Communications Authority on a quarterly basis amounted to 140 million cities. On the other hand, corporate income tax relating to taxes borne by members of the chamber represented 16% of the total tax contribution in monetary terms of 342 million cities. Uh, in terms of you know, our taxations, you know, the, the thing that we all need to bear in mind is that all of these companies are not user, are not owner run. They are not run by the owners themselves. A lot, all, I think virtually all of them are multinationals. So the people who really own them, you know, are shareholders who are sitting, investors who are sitting somewhere else. And if you can hide revenue from the taxman, then the person who's also sitting outside, he would also be able to hide revenues from him. So in terms of revenues, it is, the, it is in the interest of the shareholders to ensure that they know how much revenues they are earning. Meanwhile, Mobile financial services over the last decade has supported Ghana's drive towards financial inclusion.